for example, uh, the same house might have uh, a combination of a benefic, naturally benefic planet and a naturally malefic planet. So we might end up with such situations where we won't have clear answers. So we'll have to use our judgment and um, make suitable, uh, you know, um, analysis and then come up with it. That's why astrology is not so easy. It's complicated. And we'll have to, uh, that is just a very, very simple example I gave. There could be many other things, for example, aspected by some malefic or, uh, you know, uh, two planets which are of uh, which work for different things so so these things uh, we need to take care that's what this uh, color combination is trying to uh, highlight here that everything will be in various uh, types of combinations so i am just covering this so that it stays in our minds <clears throat> so this is a typical color wheel and uh, Interestingly, this also has 12, okay, 12 types. And what you see here in the black highlighted one, these are the primary colors, red, blue, yellow. All of the colors are based on this. And actually based on this red, blue, yellow, we get secondary colors. And from that we get tertiary colors that makes up the 12. So you can say that is the first basic color. Then you have here only this green part is indicated that means within the green you might have different shades okay or what is called tint so that is a called monochrome that means same green light to dark you can have then you have possibly combining with the direct opposite 180 degree okay color and that is known as complementary so these are complementary colors in this if you take this color wheel then fourth, we have combining colors which are like adjacent to each other. And those are called analogous combination. Then we have <clears throat> this kind of combination. Okay, two among the analogous and one on the opposite side. And that is called split complementary. And if we see this, we have triadic combination of colors. That means you choose such colors that they form a triangle when you join these, okay, the color the points here. And there's another one, seventh one, it's called tetradic. That means you choose four colors in this wheel so that there's a square form when you join the uh, points. Okay. Now, why am I showing this? I am going to now show in some way some link with the astrology. Okay. Um, so one, the first one, basic color, that means, let's say if you have a birth chart and that planet is the only thing, there is no other direct communication combination that's observable. Then we can say only that planet by its nature is going to influence whatever it has. Okay. Now we see here different shades that is monochrome. It could be like, I'm just trying to uh, compare it like planet strength based on house number. So like we saw in the Lakshmi house was 159. So if a planet is in one or five or ninth house, then it's getting more power. And it's actually in Lakshmi house, it will do always good things, whatever be the benefic or uh, malefic planet. Okay. Here, complementary. Here, I'm trying to compare it with a planet's position from itself. So We'll, this will come later in several weeks later, where you'll see that the actual position of it, uh, of the planet from its actual ownership, for example, sun owns the Leo, right? So sun is not there. It is somewhere else. Maybe it is in Pisces. So it is moved, you know, from the fifth position to 12th position. And that also has meanings attached to it. Then Analogous. So here I'm just comparing like planets based on their friendship or enmity. Split complementary. It's like different planets aspecting each other. That's the kind of combination you might have to consider. Then triadic. It is like planet with planet combo. Okay. It is a bit different from planet friendship and that. So because there are some other 
um for example called yogas okay certain specific combination will be like considered very good so and they might also also be like bad yogas so those are also there that's what here it's trying to indicate not the friendship one then tetradic it's like planets and house for example um <clears throat> a planet uh, which is uh, that the earlier one you saw in the second one was by the number of the house it was in but a planet uh, you know being in for example the jupiter is about wisdom then if jupiter is in like in th- in fourth or whatever position then according energies will come as per the what the house represents so if the house is like uh, 10th carrier one and jupiter is in 10th then the carrier would be more like a teacher professor like more towards the guru type of uh, carrier so here the planets where its position and its own nature determines that kind of meaning so that's the kind of combination here okay and if i have to show actually how the color would be i mean this is just showing the way it is combined but what the colors it might it comes as an output i am going to show that now so it will be now a bit clear to you like this is the basic primary colors then this is like different shades of the same then complementary gives like this kind of thing you have analogous combination like this this is just one example not all i'm showing so this is like split complementary complementary you get like this triadic combinations you get colors like this tetradic you get something like this so the bottom line here is <clears throat> nothing really black and white you the more and more kind of mix you will find this that kind of you know different flavors you'll get and that's what makes this uh, field quite rich and confusing as well as complicated um to gain some level of expertise um so there's nothing like you are shown that you know this 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 even after doing this course all that it, you will get is just that all these various things but it's up to you to how you exactly uh, consider all the factors at the same time and provide a suitable finding you know or uh, come to a balanced uh, picture and for those who are into art or in, into colors can check this link later in when you get the slides there is a nice slide at canva.com for color palette generator okay in case you are interested now i should 